One of the best features of Masterpiece Manager version 10 is its ability to integrate with your website. With just a click of a button, all of your information can go automatically to your website in real time. I have a test website here that I use. Um, your website would probably look totally different. Um, I have some social media on the bottom and a slideshow in the middle. And then the name of the artist on the left and the right. Let me add an item to this website. I'm just going to go ahead and add this the office party. So I'm going to open up the item and then I'm going to go to the web tab. It's a simple matter of checking this box that says display web or uncheckin' it if you want it off. Now one thing to keep in mind is that your website gets the price from the web retail price field, not the price field on the detail screen. The reason being is some people may want to have their uh, pricing of items different on the website than at their actual gallery. So by default, Masterpiece will add it, automatically match up the art price with the web price, but if you want to change it, you'll just change it here. So let me just change this to 3650. Then you can have a web description here to describe the piece, which is good for um, search engine optimization. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm going to go back to my website, and then I'm going to do a refresh. Now you'll notice that my website automatically added the artist name. Let me go ahead and click on the artist name. And then here's the title and the picture that I just uploaded. Let me go ahead and open that up. And then all, all my information about the item is here. Now your website may or may not have the pricing information to show on it. Uh, but the process of um, adding the item to the website is the same, just a matter of checking a box. And then if you just want the item off your website, just go back to the item, uncheck Display Web, hit OK, and then when you refresh your website, Jan Harrison or the artist that you added would be gone. Masterpiece can also do events. Um, depending on your website configuration, you may have just a regular events or you might have it divided into current, past, or upcoming. Uh, events are also simple to do. You'll click on Administration and then Events. And then I'm going to click the Add button and then put a title of my event. Then you can have a start date and an end date. If your start date and end date is in the future, your website will automatically put your event in the future. If your your event date has, has, has passed, then your website will automatically put it in your past events. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and type in something about my grand opening. Okay, and then I'm just going to hit the display web box to say that I want this particular website or event on the website. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to do a refresh. And when I hover my mouse over event and click on current, my event exist, exists. Uh, so here's my title of my event, the dates of my event, and then some of the information about my event. Um, and again, your particular website may have this um, information shown a little bit differently. But now what I want to do is I want to add a main picture onto my event and some inventory about the event in on the website. So I'm going to go back to my event, I'm going to open it again, and I'm going to click on the items tab. And let's say that this uh, event is going to have a few different artists, Tony Malici going to be one of them. So I'm going to find Tony Malici, hit search, and all of the pieces of Tony Malici are going to appear. I'm going to add both of them. So I'm going to just click these boxes and then hit associate. Now they're going to go to the bottom. Now I want one of those in items to actually be the main picture on my event. Uh, and I'm going to do Birds of Paradise. I'm going to check web primary for this one. And only one item can be a web primary. And then I'm going to hit OK. So if I go back to my event and then let me refresh again. So here's the picture that I just uploaded that represents my event. And uh, if I click on the picture, then I will see all the inventory that is in that event. And of course, you can add as many as you want.